die, die, die. Please die, please die. The, the chains of torment like that, that can just take you out. Oh, come on, please, please, please. No, no! Oh, God! Yes! Oh, fuck. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it, chat. But the final gamer, the final gamer always comes out on top. I hear the call to use the Book of Enlightenment. I don't think I want to yet. I don't think I want to use that right now. I think I want to hold off on that a little bit because we are going to need it later. Oh, we're running low on healing items, chat. Yeah, we are we are low on healing items. That is that's that that is always going to happen in the last leg of this game, but it's it's not great. It's not great. I think he's up here. There he is. So from what I remember about this guy, he's not that bad. He's okay. Um just have to kinda clip his wings and take him out. And we should be fine. Okay, there's a miss. That's bad. Uh, okay, he's not attacking yet. I always kill this guy really quickly. And so I never have to deal with any of his bullshit. That's one arm down. That's pretty good. Nice. Okay, good shit. Um... We will probably take out his legs now. Nice, 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 nice. Um, that hasn't exposed anything, so let's go for his heart. I think this is okay. Ah, god damn it. Oh, oh damn. For subscribing. Is his heart just hard to hit? It seems to be. Hmm. Okay, let's let's very let, let's go for his head. God damn. I don't remember having this much trouble with him before. Just okay. Look, fuck it. Let's let's. We're doing so much damage. We might as well just go for the torso. Yeah, he's not gonna survive long, even if it's not like a weak spot because we are so kitted out. There we go. And his head is just left floating there ominously. And um, a lot of enemies die faster if you hit them in the torso. Yeah, I know. I just I can't resist the the pull of. Um, I can't resist the pull of critical hits and that is my undoing so now we have the white angel soul and now with that marriage can attack twice without having to activate fast attack so we are fucking powerful right now um, and with that I might go back to that bed and save in fact that is definitely what I'm going to do the only thing that's bothering me is we have a leg we have a serious lack of healing items. So any health loss we take, we have no good way to come back from that. I really have enjoyed uh, building this little little final gamer community we got going on here. Cause like I've kind of streamed on and off for a while, but I feel like during these streams in particular in the last couple of weeks, I think I've just gotten like more used to it, and I just really. They're a lot of fun, you know. Um, hey Wolf, love the video on Fear and Hunger. I had to marathon your whole channel afterwards. Love your work considering playing Fear and Hunger Termania. Have you played already? No, I have not played Termania. Um, what I hear about Termania though is pretty much nothing but good shit. 
everyone I've talked to says that Termania is like really polished and like such a more expansive game than this. So I'm so excited to give it a go. Am I saying that wrong? Terror. Okay. Chat. Do we want to fight the skin granny or the brain man? Which, which, which you feeling? We, we will probably have t Termina. Okay. Skinny granny. Granny, granny. Everyone wants to go for granny. It's kind of the same at this point, so we might as well. Brain man, brain man. Okay, we might have to do a poll here. Brain. Ah, oh, I think, I think brain has it. I think brain has it. Okay. We got a poll open. Granny. Oh, granny. Oh, oh. 45% to grant. Oh, it's very even. It's very even, chat. It's 133 to 133. This is so mad. Like, we are going to kill them both. I just want to know which we do now. Granny has it. Granny has edged ahead 1%. And with mere seconds to go. Oh. I got this, uh. I got some Makima figure. In, uh. Anime Expo. That's pretty cool. I was surprised they had a Makima figure. Because Chainsaw Man's still kind of new. I think it's pretty dope. Uh, Brain is winning. Brain has won. With 157 votes. Congratulations, Brain. You're about to die, motherfucker. Lagarde and Darcy always, like, comfort each other to go on. And that's really sweet. If you have a if you have an empty scroll, you can ask for their soul to skip the fight. I don't want to resort to that yet. I've had that tactic in my back pocket, and I don't want to do it. I, I don't want to do it, like, straight away. We might revert back to this save and do it if it just looks like we're not going to make it. But do we even have a scroll? God damn, we have a lot of shit. What's the book of Forgotten Memories again? Oh, yeah. Uh, nearly all the backstories are not... Not something I want to read out on stream. We'll put it that way. Are you going for the S ending? I think I am. Um, I want to kill the giant squid that was in the video. That's, that's the ending I'm going for. I'm happy to do more endings after that. But um, that is, I, I, I want that thing dead for what it did to me. Uh, the same modder did a version that blurs. Yeah, I actually want to get in contact with that person. I know they've dropped by the stream a couple of times, but I didn't know it was them. Yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to play their other mod. I just don't want to mod anything now because I don't know if like we'll lose our save. We probably wouldn't. I'm probably overthinking it. But yeah. So now we're gonna fight the brain dude. Uh, the brain dude is weird. Um, he's he's actually kind of nasty. He has like multiple attacks that can hit your whole party, and he has like a countdown attack that I think either ends the battle or just kills your like or kills one of your characters. I think it I think it might actually kill your character. I uh, don't like the harvest man one fucking bit. Uh. They have a death animation that I did not know about until about nine tenths of the way through my video, and it is horrible. Okay, so this dude, he jumps. Basically, our tactic here is what it always is. We want to stomp this dude out before he can do too much damage. 
Oh, the third eye is awake already. That's bad. that all this magic comes from so we want to take that out i hope i have that right talk to him it's awesome i do oh uh, if i talk to him am i not gonna lose turns oh i better not regret this chat you are try you try talking some sense to the god of enlightenment Fatil, the enlightened one, does not react to your words, but a stream of ideas, concepts, and questions fill your head. You hear a question. We, the new gods, while still walking among men, our fellowship, when do we embark on our journey to ascension? Uh, before the counting of time, wrong answer. Is there a right answer? It was 8.09. Okay, I'll ask him again next turn. Is, is that it? Is that my chance? the new gods I am Batiel to the enlightenment as Fracos to the domination who is torment ah uh, who who is torment chat okay correct answer I think I can only talk to him once per turn. So does that stop him from attacking? That's cool. That is so fucking cool. The dark continent, once the darkness slowly leaks to the western world, where the day only shines, eternal darkness and great gloom. What is it called among the people of Europa? Uh, it's either Abyssinia or Vinland. Chat? This, this actually really simplifies this fight. Oh shit, I, I should have... Oh, thank god. You just need to know the lore. Yeah, that is so cool. glimpses of what is waiting for you on the other side but this information stream is too much for the mind to handle your head hurts a little but that doesn't matter you can clearly follow through something greater has just started to change the cogs of fear and hunger have just begun to rotate scale you get the enlightened soul nice okay now chat it's time for a little grudge match we we got some revenge to get i think she's definitely gonna kill moonless again uh, we, that is actually the cleanest sweep I have ever had against uh, Soul of Torment and Soul of the Enlightened. Like that, that is really good. The only thing I'm scared of is we have so few healing items and that could potentially fuck us. Um, but we do have a bunch of items we're going to be able to get in the old vill in the old town. So maybe that'll stand to us. We'll see. What? Oh, How did... hey, thanks for subscribing. Did 
Did I not see that? Am I insane? Oh no. I don't think I have any scrolls. Uh, invisible enemy, you can't escape. Okay. These guys are not too bad if you don't let them do their thing. And I don't intend to let them do their thing. That's right. We're taking away all your limbs, buddy, because you are not going you are not going to do what you want to do. Oh, I don't like them. I don't like them at all. And what is the Harvest Man thing that they do? You can look it up on YouTube if you want to know. But um yeah, not not a fan. Not 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 a fan at all. Actually, I don't think you can look it up on YouTube. Oh, fuck. Uh, mm. These are actually dangerous. These can do some shit. Kind of just want to run, but we probably have the power to just steamroll them. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Okay, yeah, they can scratch you and they can infect you, and it's it's a bad time. Let's just get rid of that little that that little tyke there. God, that thing has a lot of health. Okay. <laughs> That's one girthy baby from <laughs> Windy. Okay, we're home free. We're all right. Grand. Oh, uh, I really don't know how this fight with Skin Ganny's Granny's gonna go. Um, I think she's the hardest of the god bosses. Um, we do have the pale skin, which means like we are gonna be able to take out our limbs much faster, which is great. Like we basically have another party member against her, which is what you want. Um, but. She's still the skin granny, and she's such a nightmare to fight. So, I don't know. Like, this could be tough. This could be tough. We'll see. Lagarde is hungry. Cool. I will... I will see to Lagarde just before the skin granny fight, because I just want to see what resources we have at that point. I'm actually getting nervous. Like, we're doing well. We're doing good. But skin granny could bring it all crashing down. I like the WWE video a lot, and I don't even like WWE. That's 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 what I'm here for. Make you make you give a shit about things that you might not otherwise give a shit about. But seriously, I do really appreciate oh, everyone. Hey, um, everyone who said they'd like the Roman Reigns video. Uh, that video was a journey. It was not an easy video to make. I actually finished that video. A ver no, I finished a version of that video back in January, and I watched it back, and I was like, this fucking sucks like I was just was not happy with it to the point that and that was the same time that WWE landed it with like 20 copyright strikes or something and um, so I put it down for like three months and I went and I made the Jojo video I meant I, I went and I made the fear and hunger video and then I came back to it and I'm really glad I did because I think like now it's it's probably one of my favorite videos I've done and um, I'm really proud of it and it was the video that so many people said to me, brought up to me when I was at the cons, you know, and that's always a good feeling. Okay, so this is like the, this is the flashback to the time before Fear and Hunger, and there's basically just a bunch of little events we have to trigger around the town. Yeah, I will definitely t check out Oss off for oh, sure. Hey, thanks for I would really love some healing items. Blueberries heal a little bit, but not enough. And we are going to feed everyone right before the fight. We still we still have a decent amount of supply, food supplies, so we're okay in that regard. 
Um, hey, John, were you able to catch Forbidden Door 2? Any favorite match so far? I was. I thought overall it was a pretty decent show. It wasn't as good as Forbidden Door 1, in my opinion. Um, I thought Omega versus Osprey was excellent. Really, really good. Um, maybe a little too much shenanigans in there for me. Like, I don't think you need to throw Don Callis in there to make that story good. Um, I thought Danielson and... Um, Danielson and Okada was disappointing. And granted, like, Danielson, he, he broke his arm during that match, which I think really limited what they could do. But it just... When you have a dream match... I feel like you wanted to exceed expectations, right? And oh, hey, that didn't. It kind of just met them. It was kind of a fairly standard, like, Okada match. Um, I think those two have a way better match in them. Definitely. And I'm really excited to see that match. You know what? I'm uh, I'm just gonna 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 mute the mute the game here real quick. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, I forgot about this place. Uh, let me tell you, there are some eerily convincing sex noises in this place that I don't super want to put on the stream. It's not muted. Oh god, it's not muted! Oh no! Oh god! Uh, bup! There we go. Um, sorry about that, everyone. Oh, I thought I thought killing the system sound would do it, but it's not. Is it off now? Is it off? Is the sound off? <laughs> Please tell me it's off now. Okay, it's off. It's off. God damn it. That is not. I'm so I'm sorry everyone if you came here for a nice pleasant Friday and you're just like can't wait to not hear any sex noises this Friday and then you came here and that's what you got. That was not my intention. Um, as I have stated on these streams, it's, you know what, we can pretty much universally call this a rule on these streams. Uh, no dicks, uh, no sex noises. That's generally what we're going for here. And I will say that sometimes we do not hit that standard. And right now was one of those times. Uh, Juan Dinner, thank you for the subscription. Uh, appreciate it. Um, how dare you? How dare I indeed? And I do believe that should be everything. Uh, people are getting hungry, but I don't want to do it. I will do it when we get to the next stage. God damn it. You know, I, I woke up this morning and I said, you know what I'm not going to do today? I'm not going to make a thousand people listen to sex noises. That was that. I, that's what I said today. I wasn't even thinking about streaming. I was just like, I was just envisioning my, my goals for the day. You know, I was doing that thing that the, the secret tells you about, how you should, like, uh, put it out into the universe. And goddamn if that's not exactly what happens. Um, it's okay, progress is not linear. <laughs> um, what was the moaning for? Because we were just in a, a, a place of sex workers. One, one light blue vial or something would do so much good. But I don't think we're going to get it. Uh, the Duma, on a lighter note, you can rip down the flags on the wall to get cloth fragments. Duma, listen, buddy, you're talking to the final gamer, okay? It's it's going to take more than that to impress the... Yes, a blue vial. Nice. Um, we, We've been ripping all kinds of flags this whole playthrough. Okay, let's get some food into these people. Cabbage, a shockingly filling food in this game. Give moldy bread to Moonless. Oh, Moonless, my little garbage disposal. Can heal Moonless up a little bit. I don't want to spend the blue vial on Moonless. I'm sorry, it's too valuable. Yeah, we're going to get revenge for Moonless. That's true. That's exactly what's about to happen. I don't want to spend the salmon snake meat right now. I've got some turnips, though. The salmon snake meat, I think, brings you back nearly, like, your entire hunger meter. Oh, I'm nervous, chat. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like the skin granny at all. Oh, there's instant kill dogs in here, isn't there? Oh, fuck. I forgot about them. Come on, come on, come on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, some cr supply crates. I have to get supply crates. 
Moldy bread doesn't poison. Interesting. Okay, I have been working under the misconception that it does. Throwing dark. Come on, vile. Come on, vile. Come on, vile. Okay. And everyone is okay, but let's just give them a little, little drinky poo. Okay. It's the skin granny versus the final gamer rematch. Is there anything we can actually do? I think if we throw the priest lantern, it'll set her on fire for the next turn. But I'm not sure about that. Damn. Okay, let's take out that top arm first. Come on. Yes! One arm down! One arm down, chat! Now we're going to take out that right arm. Yes! Okay. Okay. This is going all right. Critical slash. Uh, oh! Uh, okay, Darcy took a bit of a beating there. But hopefully she's okay. That's, that's why the arms are so dangerous. And those critical slashes can kill as well. They, they can critical hit and just destroy it. Okay. She has one limb left and she's going to start tackling. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay. Her, oh, I, think, I think her only move now is tackle unless she grows back arms. So we just got to pile on the damage. This is clean. Chat, this is real clean. Oh! Yeah! Oh, the final gamer! Yes! Oh! Oh, I'm so relieved. I'm so relieved. Holy shit. I did not think we were getting off that easy. Brilliant. That worked out so well. Oh. So this scene is just a scene from Berserk. This is straight up Berserk. Many things are scary lack here in the prophecy. The fair haired man, the one who arrives in the gods of the beauty. Um, I love that you call her Darcy when it's spelled just like the head plus arm strangle in VJJ. You're still a cutie. How, how do you actually pronounce her name? Do you have a VODs channel? Yeah, it's. I don't have any VODs up there at the moment, but they will be going up in the next week. It's called Regular Eyepatch Wolf, and they'll also be available just here from now on on the Twitch channel. The Dars choke. Dars. Okay. That, that sounds right to me. Or just dark. I've always thought it was dark, like Joan of Dark. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, we'll just call her Dark from now on, because that sounds pretty cool. Okay, in fairness now, chat, there's like eight different ways to pronounce it being suggested.
and save. Um, you know what, chat? I was thinking that Skin Granny was going to be where we'd end this. But what say we maybe push on? L let me check one thing. Let me check one thing. Please ignore how messy my room is. Okay, chat. We're going to push on. We are going to enter the Fear and Hunger endgame. Okay, we have to do a bit of walking before the final boss, so let's just let them get hungry for a moment. Yeah, we actually, we did actually get a, like, the each one of those boss fights, that is the cleanest version of those boss fights I've ever gotten. But, we still got some shit ahead of us. We have, like, three boss fights, as far as I can tell, left. And we might be fine, but, yeah. Nathaniel, I have never gotten Super Marriage on... I've never gotten Super Marriage on stream, but I've gotten it, like, on a normal run. From, like, from what I could tell, it's not as good because you can't equip it with shit, but am I missing something? Um, I get the f impression you would pronounce... Chi... Cheyenne? Chi... Yeah, yeah. Look, guys, I learned English in Ireland... And so a lot of the things, the pronunciation isn't quite the same, and it's it's different. Okay, it dip, my pronunciation isn't good all the time. Okay, we're good. We're good to go. Have you seen Spider Verse yet? I have seen Spider Verse. Uh, I thought it was good. I don't think I was in love with it as as other people were. I didn't like it as much as the first movie. I still thought it was great. I still thought it was a fucking cool film. You can actually read my review for Into the Spider-Verse on... Okay, he hits hard. He hits quite hard. Um, In the review hole on my Patreon. Got, got pretty unlucky there at the start. That might fuck us. I, okay, he's, he's not, we got really unlucky at the start of that fight in that John, the main character, took two big hits at the start. That might fuck us for what's to come, but look, we're rolling at this point. We're just moving forward at this point, chat. Hey, I, gr I greet you, fellow warrior. If you're in this bar, it must mean there's another cycle to begin, huh? It's all pointless, you know? We are nothing but puppets. There is no real domination. So yes, I am ready. Take this key. You will need it. Proceed back in time, and you will find my younger self. Kill him, and you will get what you are after. How do I kill you? I used to be quite a cocky one. Use that to your advantage. Huh. Oh, it's the dog in the cage that are barking. Cool. Oh, lots of supplies. Torch. Please, a healing item. Please, a healing item. God damn it. Here. What? What? No! No! Oh. So this is something we have to kill for another ending we could potentially do. Fun lore tidbit, this dog's start of the game were sent by Francis. Oh, that's so cool. Or Francois, is that his name? I'm trying, chat. I'm trying with the pronunciation. I'm I am but a but a hung, humble Irish boy who is not raised on these worldly things. Come on, get out of here without the dogs. Get out of here without the dogs. I don't want to fight dogs. Oh, okay. Here we go. Stat Statue Merchant sells potions. He does... Which one is it? Uh, hmm. Because we do have a bit of gold, don't we? Go to the statue merchant. Okay, he's. I know he's down here. He's in the modern area and he's down here somewhere. 
Actually, I think we opened the gate. Um, so chat, I've been watching, um, Hell's Paradise, the anime, and I like the Hell's Paradise manga, it's pretty good. Um, the anime is a weird one, right? Because I feel like 10 years ago, that would have been considered a really, really good adaptation. But I feel like nowadays, we live in this weird time of, like, S-tier anime adaptations, and... Hell's Paradise anime is like, it's decent, it's fine, but it's not great. And it's hard to get excited about for that reason. I have absolutely no complaints, but you see, like, I think that's the... Oh shit, I've got to go in the wrong way again. I, I, I think that's the thing that I feel about it. Like, I have no real complaints about the anime, but it doesn't blow me away either. You know, like, it's totally fine. But, like, you look at the JoJo Part 4, Part 5 adaptation, you look at Demon Slayer, you look at Jujutsu Kaisen, and it's hard not to feel like, oh, man, there's, like, there there's could have been something more here. And I feel shitty about that, because they did a good job. Like, they translated it fine, you know? But it's not, it's not amazing. Does this guy sell? One of these people sells them. I think, it is it this dude? No, it is not that guy. Fuck, where is he? No, he's in one of the buildings near the star. I'm after going the wrong way. Damn it. Um, someone asking, will I be talking about Vinland Saga? Um, so I've watched the first season of Vinland Saga and thought it was fucking excellent. I've watched a little bit of the second season and also thought it was fucking excellent. So at some point, I'm going to go all in on Vinland Saga. And I would say the chances of a video are pretty high. Zef98, thank you, okay. We'll head there now. I have seen that we have no enemies meme a lot. I still haven't reached the point where it makes sense, but it sounds fucking incredible. Thank god we can still make torches. We shan't need them much longer. Here he is. Wait, does his elixirs of the body actually work? This isn't like the other guy who sells you the fake ones, is it? They- okay, okay. Oh my god. Chat, we can afford seven elixirs of the body. Th this might mean- This might let us actually beat the game. I've been shit-talking silver as a resource this entire time. Yeah, maybe some mind as well. Okay, chat. To end game we go. Holy shit. I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, have you read Vagabond? I have read Vagabond and I consider it absolutely fucking excellent. Um, about... Like, like, Vagabond is up there with Akira. It's up there with Berserk. It is... Like, I finished Vagabond and I was like, wow, how boring. This manga is exactly as good as people say it is. I don't get to have a spicy take. I don't get to be fun. I just... Yep, Vagabond is an absolute fucking classic and everyone should read it. Um, I remind you, you have a book of enlightenment. I do. Uh, but I want to save that for right before the final boss. James Sestral. Anyone see the least of the painful remaster trailer that just popped up? Oh, fuck. Really? Oh, chat. I guess we know what we're playing after this. What, like, when we're done with Fear and Hunger, that is what we are playing. Uh, Winter Bunny 13. Thank you for the subscription. I just, I just want to save in the tower one more time. No! Oh, God. Can I run? Oh, my God. No. No, 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 <laughs> uh, mm, um, I thought he was dead, chat. I thought he was dead. Oh, uh, hmm. We can still hit him a lot, and we can still hit him hard. Did you beat the body after- I didn't know you had to beat their bodies! <gasps> oh my god. Oh, bad. It 
if this is how it ends, this would be the worst. <gasps> oh! Please die, please die, please die. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. I thought it would kill him if I went for the head, Zef98. I thought it would kill- Okay, now, fucking... The final gamer. The final gamer still, still doing it. Okay, no, we're pushing on to end game. We're doing this. So, the final gamer. We already have the patented final gamer catchphrase. Don't you people know that the final gamer always has a plan? So we don't need that. What do we call, like, fans of the final gamer? Like, you know the way MJF calls his fans the devil worshippers? What what do we call what 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 are the people who support the final gamer called? Final fans, that's not bad. Terminal fans, terminal fans is kind of fun. The finalists, the finalists is good. The final fans, the witnesses, final destination. F fools, whoever said fools, you're banned. You're gone forever. Goodbye. Um, final final wolves is kind of cool. The ultimate sims. The nameless ones. That was a different cult. I mean, that was a different group. Um, no, it's it can't be the first. The Gar Finals. Get out, the losers. C Cyborg Eddie. Uh, Cy okay, you know what, Cyborg Eddie? If you were in my secondary school, you they you they would have taken your journal, and they would have marked down negative attitude. Okay, there was a special like you could get different marks. Like uh, N B was no book, N H was no homework, and there was. N-E, negative attitude, and I fucking swear to God, chat, I tried so hard to get negative attitude as a, as a, as a bad thing, and I could never figure it out. I always just got disruptive behavior instead, and I wanted it so bad. I so bad wanted to feel what it was like to be a negative attitude. God, we are... We are running low on supplies. Can I give someone rotten meat? And then- Oh shit, that gave him worms. Oh no. Uh, that might have been a bad idea. That might have been a really, really bad idea. Worm juice. I have worm juice. You're okay. So I can give- I can feed Darcy that. Ah, nice. Okay. And we have a white vial. So we can cure that. And we have worm juice. Okay, I play- I don't care what anyone says. I just played this really well. Um... But, oh, oh, god damn it. Now she's poisoned again. Here you go, Darcy, drink up. Um, so everyone's okay, except for Lagarde, who I need to give something. What else can we give? Raw meat. Raw meat's gonna give him worms. Um, I think we have to give him a salmon snake's meat. Oh, the salmon snake doesn't heal as much as I remember, probably because it's not cooked. Okay, chat. Here we go. I can't believe it's come to this. Oh, this looks cool. I think this just completely glitched out uh, for on Steam Deck for me the first time I saw it. Moonless is starting to feel hungry. Moonless, you little shit. Here, have some rotten tomatoes. Are you liking the Steam Deck? I really like the Steam Deck. There's some things I don't like about it. Like I took it on a plane and I took it out to play Vampire Survivors and it wanted to update Vampire Survivors and it wouldn't let me play it. Okay, 
we are all good. Um, actually, we are not good at all. What the fuck am I talking about? Uh, where's that elixir of the body? That was close. That was that was nearly very stupid. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Don't you people know that the final gamer always has a plan? He didn't save, lol. Uh, I didn't want to save before this guy. I want to save after this guy. Uh, because, like... We basically just slept in a bed and then walked to this guy. I want to save the Book of Enlightenment for right after this. Okay, um, I'm not sure the optimum strategy against this guy, but I want to take that blade away immediately. Talk? Okay, I, I will talk next turn. No. Um, I think I can only talk at the beginning of a turn. Okay, we got it. We got, we got a leg off him or an arm off him. You try talk since what is your origin? Wait, we don't have to fight. Please don't prepare. Die like worm. What is your origin? I bet. Prepare to die. Is it okay? What should I say, chat? Prepare to die. Life and death. I'm closer to gods than no anyone has ever been. Well, this is as close as you get. This is the end of you. Of course, you're close to gods. You're standing next to one. Which 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 response, chat? You want him angry? Not in a minute. I recognize a weasel when I see one. You've got no spine. You've got no balls. You are nothing to me. You'll just be an extension of my domination once I bend you. Over it, you're dead. Whoa! Uh, the other gods are dead. What exactly do you dominate? You're nothing but a puppet in the greater scheme of things. I bet it's that one, right? A puppet? A puppet of whom? Do you see strings attached to my arms? Do you see a puppeteer somewhere? There is no one left but me. Well, who is the puppeteer? Who is the pup? Who is it that puppeteers me? Why don't you reveal this secret knowledge of yours? I am the true puppeteer, how little you really know. You know nothing. You think I'd fall for your pesky dictum? Oh god, what happened to guard? I completely missed that! Okay. At the beginning. Oh my god. So if I had talked in the first turn, we'd be fine. Oh no. Okay. Well, it's nothing we can do now. Um. Damn it. That's so annoying. I mean, at least Lagarde's hitting him okay. Please do humor me with the ridiculous claims. So this is the extra turn, is it? No, it's not, okay. 
Ch should I attack his head or his um, or his torso? There's his limbs. I can attack the head now. But I want to keep him talking, right? Oh shit, that was the extra turn. Damn it. Oh, it's a fucking game. Nice. So now we want to talk to him. Okay. I am a true heaven. No need to talk anymore. Okay. Gotcha. So now this bit chat. Okay, see, so okay. He's stunned for three turns after you talk to him. Oh no, his dick is out. Yep. Oh shit, should, maybe we should be aiming for his torso. We're, get, we're hitting his head though. I just want to keep him, keep him cooled down. He's got to go down soon. He's got to go down soon. This is the final gamer pose. feel standing still, you feel the electricity and exciting radiating from the chair. Your heart is beating fast. It feels like the throne holds great significance to the greater scheme of things. The throne of the new gods is sitting here empty, waiting for successor. Sit on the chair. This throne. This is the moment I've strived for. This is the moment I've suffered for. Wait, Lagarde, what do you mean? You said before you couldn't remember. Lagarde. Wait, wait, no, hang on. What? You remember our talk about the path? You might not understand this yet, but this is it, the path. Wait, no. No, I wanted to fight the octopus. In order to reach greater heights, to unify the land, to bring upon the new era, I need this power. The strength of kings and queens is not enough. I need- No! No! Something lost beyond me. Why would you look for power and justice in a place like this? Such pure virtuous couldn't exist. This place- I can't believe I've been Griffithed! I can't believe I've been Griffithed! Do you think any of the Grand Kingdom's history books speak of stand okay, on pure foundations? Me. They were all built on bloodshed and violence. But what if there was a way that wouldn't require thousands of soldiers on opposing sides shedding their lives? What if such a Grand Kingdom only required one soul to succumb to the darkness? Only one soul to be tainted? Can anything so grand be built on rotten foundations? Throne's great. Um, the throne holds a great significance to the greater scheme of things. The throne of the new gods is sitting here empty, waiting for the successor to put.
pitch black new world is unveiled before you. A cold winter carries over unnatural cries from all around. You you are not alone here, even it would seem otherwise. And with that... Well, chat, that's going to do it for this episode of The Final Gamer. Same time next week if you want to tune back in and see see where we're going. <laughs> I know, look, we, we got to end on a cliffhanger, right? <laughs> <laughs>